Hey guys, thank you all for tuning in with me today. I really appreciate it. Today in the kitchen, this is what we're gonna be making y'all. It's an all-in-one meal dish. It's gonna be honey, garlic, chicken, and potatoes. That's right. You can even take this meal y'all and put it on the grill. Put it in an aluminum pan and put it on the grill. Okay, I don't wanna keep you waiting too much longer. We're gonna start with the main ingredient, which is chicken. Now you can use chicken thighs, chicken legs, chicken breasts. Today we're gonna to use the chicken legs. I usually take the skin off the chicken, but today I'm gonna to keep it on to incorporate it with my potatoes. So I took two big, large Idaho potatoes and chop them up. Chop as many as you need or like to your liking. So I have six chicken legs, two large Idaho potatoes, and I got all these good seasonings over here, y'all. Let's start from the left to the right. We're gonna be using garlic powder, Spoon, two teaspoons, Italian seasoning, two teaspoons. I use three teaspoons of honey, and I'll show you guys what I did with that. Um, lemon pepper, basil, cream of chicken, and olive oil. And then I also got my special, special seasoning that was made up from one of my sponsors. Her name is Robin. Thank you, Robin. Good old seasoning. She got her mixture going on, and I'll get in, into that information at a later date. But this seasoning is the bomb from Robin. Okay, so instead of the seasoning that I'm using, you can also use seasoning salt. That will be good for this meal since you don't have none of Robin's seasoning salt yet. Okay, then I also have the cream of chicken. We're gonna take that cream of chicken and make a good gravy with it. Okay, that's what we're gonna do with that. Then over also with my wet ingredients besides the cream of chicken soup, y'all. Cream of chicken soup, besides that, I made up my own sauce as well that's going to go over my chicken. I have barbecue sauce to your liking. I have ketchup and honey. This is where the honey come in at yet y'all. And a little bit, a teaspoon of olive oil to get my chicken moist. And you're going to go ahead and mix that up and let that sit while you start on your potatoes. So I have cut my potatoes up already and rinsed them off. Get your large baking dish as deep as you like it depending on how much you're going to put in it and you go ahead and start with the potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my other glove here because I'm gonna get the mixing for you guys. So just for my potatoes, it includes just these seasons I used here, but I have the lemon pepper, I have the basil, and garlic. Okay, I'm gonna put on the potatoes. All right. Go ahead and get these potatoes rubbed up and get them going. And I also took the bottom of my bacon dish and added, I can't believe it's not butter, okay? And a little olive oil if that's what you wanna do for your bacon instructions, okay? Okay, so I got the potatoes going. Now we're gonna get into the chicken. I already rinsed it off. Then next, I'm going to take my mixture. So all these seasonings also is gonna seep into your potatoes, so you don't wanna over season it. You don't want no salty dish. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is take that cream of chicken, and I'm gonna add water. I have two third cups, but I only should use half of that. You don't want it real watery, but you want to loosen it up. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna stir it. And then I'm gonna take it and pour it over my potatoes. Oh my God, this is gonna soften them potatoes up. And get that gravy going, make it thickening like a gravy. Mm. Let's put that over there, and you're gonna take it and mix it up so it can go all over the potatoes, y'all. Now that we have done that, I am going to take the chicken breast. And just place it on top. So now remember that sauce and seasons I made up 
it's going to also seep into these doggone potatoes. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more basil. Okay, so this is what we're working with, y'all. This is what we're working with right here. All in one. We're going to take it, set your oven at 450. And you're going to let it cook for at least an hour and 20 minutes at 450. Because you want that chicken to get done and those potatoes to get soft. Okay. I'm going to put some aluminum foil over it and slide this in the oven and we are going to be good to go. Now when it gets like halfway finished with the time that I gave you, I usually take the aluminum foil off. Well sometimes I keep it on. So it's up to you, your decision. If it's not taking um a long time and you want it to cook faster. But other than that, if you use a aluminum pan for this, you can take this meal, sit it on the grill. Light the fire, gas grill, charcoal grill, sit it on the fire, put the lid down, wrap it up, let it cook. That's a good all-in-one meal. But today I'm going to take it and put it in the oven, okay? Okay, y'all, so I cooked it for about an hour and 30 minutes, like I told you, because I wanted those potatoes to get soft and my chicken legs to get done. And it depends on what type of parts of the chicken that you're making. Maybe the chicken breast will um, be a little less time, but I cook chicken legs and you know those are thick. Let's get ready to take this out of the oven. It smells good through here. Let's go ahead and get ready to take it out. That thick gravy that I made with it. I'm ready to taste. Yes, I am. I'm gonna go ahead and give me some potatoes here. I am excited. I'm gonna do the potatoes first. Hot, delicious. Potatoes are soft and good. Yes, it is. Mm. This is it. You can make this dish all in one. Very filling good to cook make that gravy thicken easy simple meal you will love it thank y'all i appreciate y'all i want to say thanks to one of my sponsors for that seasoning i really appreciate it that's the bomb seasoning and i want to thank everybody thank you for tuning in thank you for showing me love from shimon's kitchen be blessed